Hey everyone, welcome to the final episode of Song of Horror. Episode 5 is finally here after months and months of waiting. I think episode 4 came out in February or January? Um, episode 5 was supposed to come out in March, but it got delayed by a couple months. Um, and here we are, end of May. I have no problem waiting. I, re I would rather have the final episode be good than rushed and buggy, you know? So I'm just super excited that it's finally here and we can play it. To prepare ourselves uh, for the last episode, I went back to episode 4 and went through the files again that I found. Um, just to kind of recap um, what the story is up until this point. Uh, episode 4 we went to the Abbey of St. Celia. I made a couple notes, so I have it right here. <laughs> um, we went to the Abbey of St. Cecilia and we learned that the song kind of started there. Well, that's the oldest, um, the oldest records we found of it is that they were gonna have a concert at the Abbey and the choir was gonna sing the song, the song, same song that's in the music box that's making everyone go insane. Um, they had a choir, they had a concert, they, they did the song, they performed the song and everyone lost their freaking mind. Everyone who attended was either injured or dead or just crazy. Um, they locked up the monks from the choir uh, because they were like half transforming into like evil beings and then they looked fine again. Um, everyone was scared of them so they locked them away behind a door that had four keys and the whole episode was about finding those four keys and then going through the door. Um, the we found a file that said that they got the song for the concert by finding an old Byzantine by Byzantine I think is the pronunciation sorry if that's wrong I don't don't know actually but they found old Byzantine record records in a library like ancient records of the song and the violinist in the concert for the concert was able to transcribe the Byzantine notation system into modern music and that's how they got to perform the song so that's the oldest recollection we have and then shit went down everyone basically died um, we opened the door with the four locks and we found Husher the man we've been looking for all along from episode one dead behind the door uh, so we were way too late he was dead long gone um, but so then I think our main character is called Daniel. I think he was like, at the end of episode four, he was like, we should just burn the box and just erase the song from everywhere so no one can get hurt anymore. Um, but there is still Ariadne, who is the very mysterious older lady who knows about the box and has the box, I think, at the moment. Um, so I think the next plan for episode 5 was to go there, to go to Ariadna and try and find more information. And we also found Legrand's diary that might have a lot of valuable information. So I think episode 5 will start with us looking at going through the diary and finding new clues to go somewhere. I'm hoping it's Ariadna's house, but we're gonna find out. I hope that was a good recap for everyone. I did my best, <laughs> as you can tell. <laughs> I'm rarely this prepared for a story, but I'm really into this game and I really want it like a proper recap so I know what's going on for the last episode. Um, so a long intro, it's been a couple minutes now. So let's dive in and hope we don't die. They actually updated the game so that there is a, um, n there is a game version now without permadeath. But I think I've come this far I'm gonna finish it on permadeath and see who we can have survive the final episode. So, let's go, let's explore. Husha died in there, trapped. He probably struggled and screamed until he went mad trying to find a way out of that godforsaken place. Like me, only in his case, nobody got there in time. I imagine he thought that there was a quicker way to go. <sighs> the same way that Faba chose. And maybe I would have done the same in his place. What I saw myself do in that mirror was just too much. Is this what lies ahead? Or maybe I already know it, but I'm trying to hide it from myself. Maybe deep down, I know it's a hideous omen, 
of what the future has in store for me. Maybe I know that, like everyone who's come across that cursed box, I too will take my own life. That I would rather surrender to death than face whatever it is that lingers behind that infernal melody. I should burn the thing, make that melody vanish from the face of the earth. But what about Ariadne? She's alive. What if? Hmm, this is exactly my recap, this? isn't it? I can't destroy it without knowing for sure. Maybe there's something in Legrand's diary. Oh God, I need to rest and gather my thoughts. I need to sleep. I can only hope the nightmares won't be as horrible as real life. Let's go. T, get me through this. This is going to be such a long episode. So much many hours later. What? Oh, what a cool cutscene. Damn. Oh, did we get teleported somewhere? Ooh, dude. That place. That melody. God. I need to find something. There must be something here. No subtitles? Father. Oh, there we go. Every single person who attended that cursed concert in the Abbey. The entire Legrand Amersberg family and I. We all heard the song. Argos Legrand's diary. Which I found in that place beyond reality was my only hope. Yeah, of that was so cool. Anything that could take me down a different path than the rest. And yet, the Grant's notes seemed like nothing more than erratic and incoherent ramblings of a broken mind, so demented that no one could put them together in any order, much less understand them. Oh shit! But I found something towards the end that made some kind of sense. Although, I wish I hadn't. It's all over. Laid on me. Just a moment ago, I... Like every night, the song was invading my dreams, grating incessantly. I woke up, soaked in sweat, and veiled by the shadows. Natalie was sleeping, but I was not. This time, it had to stop. I was hellbent on destroying the source of that awful song. Right, he was staying I with his ex-wife. basement and tore down the same wall I built myself. With each blow, I cursed the moment I decided to bring that melody into my home. I couldn't take it any longer. Did he do this? I forgot. There she was, behind the wall. My wife, huddled in a corner, holding Elaine in her arms. I froze. If Natalie was there, what kind of diabolical creature was sleeping by my side? Wait, yeah. Monsters. All of them. Wait. My beloved Elaine, Natalie. The monsters had locked them away and wanted to take Ariadne. They wanted to take my baby. Wait, Ariadne. I grasped the mallet, determined to do whatever it took. I would not allow those fiends to take my daughter, not without a bat. <sighs> I'm so confused. I thought it was Daniel. They tried to harm my family. I would kill the monsters and the black figure and find my little girl. I followed them throughout the house. Every this is his diary entry. Sorry, I'm so slow darkness. sometimes. There was something unnatural in the air. The melody had transformed into a choir of black curling howls. But I finally cornered them in the bedroom. Then I finished them off. Did you kill your own family? Blood, and it flowed like a well from the grotesque black figures while they screamed and writhed, the vile, deceitful fiends. And then I went back to the basement. And there was nobody there. Natalie yeah, he Elaine killed his own wife and daughter. No. 
this true? They had not disappeared. They had never been down there. They were upstairs, in the bedroom, where I had left them. There were no monsters in the house. Except me. Only me. Only me. And the presence. Okay, so he survived and... Or, he didn't survive, obviously, but... He killed his wife and child, then realized what he had done, oh so he hung God. himself. It ends like this? Wait. And the baby, this? Ariadne, Jeremy survived. And that's why she has the box. Psychiatric analysis and treatment of patient Ariadne Legrand Amsberg, Dr. Berenice Prestigard. Oh, Christ, I can barely stand up. I really need help with this. Etienne! Hey, my man! So, Etienne is here. Lydia, I don't know. Oh, I have only three characters. <clears throat> Sophie. Van Denent. Life has put Sophie to the test many times, but she always pulls through. Thanks to this resilience that she summoned the strength to put an end to her failing marriage with Daniel. Okay, so... This is the ex-wife. Etienne, we know, right? I think so. Self-made man, sales manager, Daniel's direct supervisor. His role as personal assistant, Daniel has become somewhat of an errand boy, but Etienne is slowly giving him greater responsibilities. So he's very strong, not that stealthy, and pretty fast. Very serene, Lydia. She has a torch. Psychologist and social therapist after losing several friends to the heroin crisis of the 70s and 80s. Holy shit. She committed to helping addicts to fight their condition. Met Daniel in detox therapy and after his recovery they became long life friends. Aww. Daniel considers Lydia his savior but also a tireless comrade who he can count on. Oh, she has a portable inhaler she can use when she gets nervous. Huh. Interesting. Lydia might be cool to play as. Let's start with her. Let's start with her. Of course, I'm gonna hope. Uh, I'm gonna hope. No. Oh, that's okay. That's it. I think. Let's do it. Daniel will only send one person to the hospital. Do you choose Lydia? Yes. Let's hope that we get through it okay. That's what I was gonna say and interrupted myself multiple times. <sighs> okay, hospital time. Creepy creepy. Ooh. I really thought we were going to go to Ariane's house, especially with the diary entry like that. Only three people to play with this time. Jeremy Hartwood Hospital. An old mental health institution for the rich turned dump. Or something worse. I can imagine the sound of the water in the fountain and the peacefulness of this garden back when the hospital was still open many moons ago. Let's see if there's anything around here before we enter. There might be some interactables. Careful, the gate looks unstable. Maybe we can break that open later. I doubt we would need to be there though. Looks like they tried to empty the hospital but had to stop at some point. Oh. Creepy gurney. Oh no. Creepy. Oh, creepy wheelchairs. Power generator. Looks like a power generator. I'd say it still works. Oh, you want to restore power? To the hospital? Obvious that they were dismantling the place. I won't be able to open that gate, but I don't need to go that way. Okay, and that seems to be it for now. So what about this generator? Are we gonna fix this? 
Okay, broken. Broken handle. Handle stripped off from the power generator. Well. Rope has rotted away. I can't use it until I replace it. So we need rope. Okay. Damn it. I think I overdid it. You don't know your own strength. No rope here? Okay. Let's go in then. See if we can find some rope. I could already listen at the door. Damn. Can you imagine just instantly dying? <sighs> I'm already getting nervous. The horror and the song. Daniel, you didn't overcome your alcohol addiction to let this kill you. I certainly won't let it happen. <laughs> uh -uh. Panel controls where the emergency power goes to, but it's not getting any electricity. Okay. Seeing the gurney there, I can only imagine the chaos this place was in. I'm already scared of running. <sighs> really hope this was part of an attempt of dismantling the place. I think my skinny bum could fit in there, no problem. Is that a hiding place? Um, how do we open the map? Documents... I thought it was select or start, but... I no no single button I press is it giving me a map. I always liked marine art. Let me see if there's a tutorial using your map. L3. Ah, okay, good, good, good. It's coming back to me. Fuck, this room is warm, man. Fucking hate oh. it. Staple. I'm like sweaty. Let me see conditioning why aren't you working anymore put the fan closer on me and right on my face oh. yes there's a stapler on the other side of the glass on the desk do you want it should I try to grab it it's risky but I think my arm fits that hole doesn't seem too risky though if it's right there but I'll hold off a little bit Maybe I can find like a protective glove or something. Empty drawers and worn down objects. Nothing to see here. Looks like they never got around to moving. Here we are. Back again. I can't get through here, too dangerous to move all of that. Standard medical equipment, too damaged. I don't think there's anything here. I think it was- Not that way. Oh, locked from the other side. I think it was pretty obvious when there was something on the other side of the door. It wasn't anything super subtle. I think that's fine. None of the medical centers I've worked at had this apparent variety on the menu. I guess the rich haven't changed much. This is a big place. Um, why are you getting scared? Do we need to leave? Anyone up for a pint of beer? <laughs> Not me. Daniel would probably throw up if he saw so many liquor bottles in one place. Boy, has he changed. Well. The wine was probably already expensive in the 20s. It's almost as if I'm touring a strange museum. Useless, rusty instruments. Luckily, they don't serve alcohol to ma mental patients anymore. <laughs> Jesus, did they? We've evolved somewhat since the turn of the century. My god, what a bad idea. <laughs> Christ. Can we listen at this door? I think it's safe. 
kitchen. I see many small stove burners instead of several large ones. I guess people... I guess people got to pick their menu. Judging by the size of the sink, they didn't use large pots. Well. I don't know what was in there, but it looks like I'll never be able to find out. Looks like the closet is open. Hiding in here would be child's place. Nice. Child's play. Jesus. Um, I'm trying to like orient myself properly. Stay aware of my surroundings and where I am at what time. Knives. They would come in handy but they're in such bad shape they'd probably just fall apart. Wait, there's one more thing here. Oh no, that's the sink again. Good. I'm looking right at you. I think we're good. I don't know why, but like, <clears throat> looking away- <clears throat> Looking away from the screen helps focusing on the sound. Someone used this cable to make sure that handle wouldn't move. Oh. Damn. Okay, we're good so far. What's left of old tin's goods? Should I take this drawing and save my collectible for later? Yes. Ariadne's lost drawings. Representation of a scene that happened. Oh yeah. Wow. Okay. I don't know what that collectible is good for. Oh hey beeps. <laughs> Hi. Oh, you hungry? Oh, I'm so sorry. He should have had his food by now. Be right back. Yeah. 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 Cover. Yeah. Okay. Kitty has been fed. Why is it so dark in here? Okay, we got the drawing. Let's see. So... Okay, so the room we saw the stapler in, the window, is the, the locked door up there. Um, let's go back and um, check the rest of the dining hall and then check across the entrance hall. See if we can find some rope. Or if this is a rope, maybe, what's hanging here. Maybe we can cut this later and use that rope on the handle, who knows. But this room has a hiding place, right? Yeah, so this place in the entrance hall. So if I need to run, I need to run back here. It's so easy for me to panic in this game and just lose track of where I am and then fucking die. I don't like that sheet in the corner. So creepy. Just brushing against a dirty old blanket would probably give me typhus. <laughs> Jesus. Probably not that bad, but yeah, it's pretty dirty. They even have fancy furniture in the canteen. Ooh, camera obscura, huh? We're not missing anything yet, I think. What's this? There's something on the table. Old photo torn to pieces in an attack of anger or despair. Maybe I could put it back together. Ooh, puzzle. Okay, this is I wanna select this one. Turn it and place it. Let's start with that, because that's obviously the top, right? Let's put it here. There. 
Okay, I got it, but the pieces aren't officially aligning, I think. Some of them are and some of them aren't. I needed to like shift a little bit when I put it down. That's how you know it's in the right position. No. This one needs to be here. Wait, am I missing a piece? From highest to lowest, all the numbers are in the photo. Seven. Uh, what? Seven people? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Looks like I'm missing a piece, though. Well, I don't know. Well, at least it saves that. What is on here? <laughs> Dismantling notice. Dismantling has terminated. Work isn't done, but we're not going to stay here a single minute longer than we have to. Two of the teams have refused to return to the East Wing. Ezek and his boys tied a thick I think cable. This photo is more than it seems. They tied a thick cable around one of the fridge doors to keep it sealed. They don't want it to open it, even though scores of tools and kitchen utensils are back there, along with a couple of high-quality chest freezers in perfect condition. It's not the first problem we've had, but the situation has gone f too far, so we must leave. I don't blame them. This place makes my hair stand on end, and I've been inside for less than any of them. There's still so many of things of value in there. Typewriters, radios, luxu luxury furniture. It doesn't matter. As soon as Emil's team returns, we're leaving. I hope they don't tar tarry, tarry, or Nightfall is going to catch, up he catch us here. I wonder what the hell is taking so long. I hope I don't have to go in to look for them. Okay. It bothers me that I couldn't fix the photo. Because it seems fixed to me, but there isn't a clear indicator. Was that at the door already? That cloth before? There's no like real indicator whether it's in the right position or not. I mean, obviously I had the right combination, but I don't know what the game wants, you know? Which is annoying. Um, I checked all of this, I think. I said I was gonna check across the hallway. What is it? The building is in better shape than you'd expect for a place that's been abandoned t that long. It's still half in ruins, though. I spent so long on that puzzle, fuck. Mattresses, bed frames, and other furniture, all lying about. Line a boot. I'm sure the room next door is some kind of access control. Makes sense if this was an institution with potentially dangerous impatience. Okay, so let me just check the front here. Go along the side. Check if there's any more interactables. And then we'll try that doorway. That was there. That's the gurney. Okay. Oh, whoops. <gasps> oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, I shouldn't have run. Uh, oh, God. I didn't expect this. Come on, 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 No, you can't get me. No, no. Oh. <sighs> Okay, oh be gone. God, holy shit. That was a close call. Ugh. So stressful. Ah, oh, fuck.
Fuck me. You need a code? It's not getting any power. Oh. Gate is locked and completely jammed because of rust. Hmm. That's it, though. This is all the places I can look at. Oh, do you think we need to staple the picture together? Oh, I shouldn't run. I got too excited. Let's try and grab it. Yep. Yeah. Let's do it. Ouch. I need proper protection to stick my hand in there. Trying again like this would be both stupid and stubborn. Shit. Where can we find gloves? Oh yeah, hiding place. Should I try and go out? Mm -mm. Where, where am I gonna find a glove? There aren't that many places I can go to. Well. The cable could be useful. I can't listen oh. to the door. Uh, try it. I need that cable. <clears throat> Just don't open the door. Okay. Combine. With this one. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Okay. Oh no. no. Oh no. Go, go, go. Go hide. We can hide right across from here. Oh. What was that? What's in there? Seems like we're okay. Let's just leave. <clears throat> I just got the cable. I thought I needed to like cut it or something, but... Okay, let's focus on getting the power on. Nice and easy. <gasps> Fuck. <gasps> it's the lady! So fucking long. Oh. Okay, did good. I did good. That Fuck that lady. It just paralyzed me. That's good. It's <gasps> good. Just relax. You're good. We're gonna get some light into this place. It's gonna be awesome. Just calm your beating heart, lady. There you go. That's better. <laughs> All good. All good. Okay, step one. Power. Turning on the light actually might get rid of that, whatever that was in the shadows as well. Um, that's how you do it. There. Oh fuck yeah, that's awesome. Let there be light. It's not much, but I'll take it. Sister, now on to the next. On to the next? Next what? 
My guess is now that the light's on, we can... The monster in the kitchen should be gone. The kitchen hallway. Awesome. Look at the little lights. Huh. Can't risk going in there if it's dark. It doesn't like the light. Oh, I need to put some light in there. Hmm. I need something more. I thought turning on the lights would be enough. Is there like a light switch somewhere that I missed? Huh. Okay, guess I gotta look around more. See if there's anything new that appeared. And this should work now. It's not getting any power. Oh fuck, the thing in the... Let me see. Okay, don't get attacked. I forgot about this. Generator's on, let's see what we can do here. The morgue, the lift, or security. Um, security? We can do one at a time. Let's start with security. Although I doubt I can do anything because I don't have the code. I think this panel unlocks the door to the security room. Yeah. Okay, I need a code. <laughs> Can you imagine then doing the punching in the right code? Accidentally. What what will be the odds? Okay, can't see anything there. Let's try a different room. One of those must be past the kitchen. Although I doubt it would be the morgue though. Maybe we staple the picture together and then turn it around to get the numbers. Maybe that's it. This is such a ridiculous... This is, honestly, this is a ridiculous puzzle. I don't think you can even call it a puzzle. I finally, I finally caved and I looked it up. And here's the answer. And I legit... I don't understand how people are... How you can know this. From highest to lowest, all the numbers are in the photo. Seven. So this is the picture, right? So the code... From this picture, you can know that the code is... 7643331. And you know why? This is ridiculous. It's seven men. Okay, I see that. You can see six pairs of hands. I see oh, one on the shoulder on the left there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four of them are standing. Three of them are sitting. There are three chairs. There are three mustaches. Yeah. And one person's wearing a black suit. And that's how you should know it's six seven six four three 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 one. What about the the pairs of glasses then? The two? Or one dude is wearing something on his like a little bro brooch. Um, the number of feet, like number of leg uh, chair chair legs we can see. Number of things in the background. I, I don't get this one. Like this is legit a puzzle that I'm like, this is not a puzzle. Like if you want me to do that, then you have to give me more than from highest to lowest, all the numbers are in the photo. Like, how do you want me to count the pairs of eyes? The noses? I don't get it. Please let me know in the comments if there is a better explanation for this puzzle, because I, for me, this is very unsatisfactory. <sighs> but we can finally move on. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. We can go in. I see some boats there. Let's have a look. Let's have a good read. Dr. Baroness Prestigard. It's a good start. Today's session with Ariadne, Ariadne. Was it's right on the desk. The most productive to date. Not because of the conversation we had, for her mind continues to adhere to the usual extravagant patterns. But because today she asked to get her things back, which led me to a surprising discovery. Down in the storage room, I was convinced I would not find any of the belongings taken from her when she was admitted. But there was nothing further from the truth. There was a diary and a music box. After handing the box to Ariadne, I quickly browsed through the diary, which apparently belonged to her father. And that's where it gets interesting. After years of researching paranormal phenomena, Argus Legrand's investigation led him to the Abbey of St. Cecilia, mm -hmm. where a cursed concert had supposedly taken place. After spending a considerable amount of money, he got his hands on the only remaining sheet music from the concert and convinced an acclaimed musician to play the music one more time. Oh, shit. The new cursed concert would take place on a steamer that would sail down the Rhine a few weeks later, and both Legrand and his assistants would be there to contemplate the true effects of the song. After the concert, the tycoon wrote the following in his diary. Those ignorant, illiterate fools. I can only laugh at their curse and their stupidity. The only misfortune that damn song has brought is a hole in my bank account. Alas, at least I take the melody with me. I will have it recorded and play it each day for my family. Ha! Those drunk, lazy bastards. Their misfortune was caused by their own stupidity and bad blood. Wanting to put the blame on a song is yet another sample of their total lack of culture. Oh, August God. Augustine Grant never knew that the steamer suffered a strange accident just hours after he got off that killed everyone on board. Mm. And yet his thoughts on the melody eventually changed. They did indeed change. Okay. I can't believe it. Daniel wasn't exaggerating. This is much worse than I ever imagined. Huh. All kinds of user manuals for 80-year-old appliances and some security procedure documents too. Nothing to do with what I'm looking for. Oh. The do documents in this folder haven't made it to our days. Okay. Such a shame that these film reels have gone to waste. Yeah, it would be a lot of information on it, wouldn't there be? Ah, we're just on the other side of the gate. Cool. Completely stuck. Oh wait, there's something here. That's where the padded cells are. It's horrendous. Oh, we're not on the other side. Oh, the left one is the other side. This one. Oh. Okay. What's up with this one? Quiet. Ugh, I hate those sheets. They're horrible. Looks like an audio-visual documentation archive from the period. There might be something useful in there if I can open it. Oh. Okay, we need some kind of item there. I think the projector still works. Unbelievable. No, 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 I don't want to- oh god. I do not want to check out the creepy sheets. Fuck. Well, this one I don't see any- oh, I do see legs! It's just a mannequin. I thought it was something else. Ugh. Oh god, shit, Daniel, you were right. This is no joke. Is that a person? Is that why you're reacting like that? Could fit here below. Cool, hiding place. Screen is enormous. I just need to find a movie to play on the projector. I think that's it. I think that's it for this room. Hiding place. Good. So let's make a visual note. We're about to find some stairs. And if we go down the stairs, if we run back. So I'm assuming we're going up the stairs. So if we are fleeing down the stairs, we take a right 
and then we can hide in this room. Okay. Yep, downstairs and take a right. <laughs> That's our safe space for now. The closest one. I feel like I left the security room too quickly. I feel like I missed something there. Looks like they never got to finish what they started. Oh, we knew that. What are these rooms? Sounds safe. Ooh, a harp! Wow. This hole connects the two rooms. Looks like someone covered it on the other side. Piano. Piano's in pretty good shape, more or less. Piano and a harp. Wow. What are you looking at? I don't like the thought of going back in a wardrobe. Guessing this patient was planning on rehearsing all these songs. And a violin, damn. Music can really help with mental illness. I'm glad this patient had the chance to pursue their hobby. Yeah. Oh, look at the markings. I don't like that you have to... Information. No information, okay. We probably need to find some document. Oh! It doesn't like the light, but it likes the song. Okay, so why is that too dark? Can I turn on the lights in this room? Can't you just shine your flashlight? Oh, I guess you need two hands to... Yeah. Okay. Um, we need light here. Okay, maybe... Maybe I can change the light source somewhere. <gasps> oh shit. Oh, scared me. The only one where her her ooh, her breathing thing goes all the way to the tiny like that. All the way tiny. This takes so long. Okay, fuck. Ah, bye. Okay. That fear just paralyzed me. quiet. Locked on the other side. I'm guessing it leads to the staff area. This might be locked as well then. Since that... Oh, since the hole connecting the rooms, but I guess not. Never mind. Looks like painters what? Utensils. Charcoal sketches, some aren't even finished. They look professional, though. Wood is swollen from the humidity. No way I could open it now. Creepy mannequins. I wonder if it was the patient who boarded up the windows, and why exactly. Mm. Patient kept a Bible on their nightstand. Seems like the patient never got around to finishing the painting. Place is a huge mess. So where's the hole in the... Oh, hey. I think someone used this sketch to cover some kind of imperfection on the wall. Huh. Take it. Yeah. I think that's the hole in the wall on the other side. <coughs> 
So is this light coming Looks through like now? two of the hospital's patients shared a little secret. I can see the room next door. These two patients had their own little shared secret. Okay, let's go back. See if we can use the piano now. Although, playing that song seems like a bad idea though. Should I just check around more first? I don't think I'll be able to open these drawers. Okay, it's safe. For now. Ooh, hunting? If those animals were alive, this room would be like Noah's Ark. Old, bunch of old chips trophies decorating the shelf. <clears throat> Taxidermist instructions. She blinks, awoken by hunger. This night time and she listens. She takes flight swift, lethal and silent. You scream as she hear tears you away from yourself. Satisfied, she lands on her nest. Hoots to the wind, announcing her victory. Her firm grip paralyzes you. Blood spills as she feasts. She swells and beats her wings. Satiated, she, she sleeps. Classic novels and an old lamp without oil. Ooh, is that important? Looks like this patient had other health issues. Or maybe that piano song. I see patients there here took their hobbies to the extremes. Maybe the piano song is gonna... Oh, shit. Why did my heart start reading? Maybe the piano song is there to soothe whatever creature was in that hallway that we want to go to. Seems good. Uh -uh. Locked. Never mind. Small cabinet with emergency supplies. The lock looks broken. I need some kind of tool to pick it with. I have not a single item in my inventory. Wait, you're just gonna open this? You're not gonna listen? Not that way. Can't even move it. Never mind then. We're not going in there. Nope, we're not going in there. This should be safe then, right? My beating heart stop. Yeah, that sounds safe. Shit. Hmm. It's locked. Okay, never mind. Um, did I check that door? I don't remember. Okay, mm -mm. so locked. A jammed door. Jammed lock there. Bunch of stuff I can't access yet. Let's look at the map again. Okay. Musician has a hiding place as well. I didn't really... Oh, because she said she didn't want to go in the closet. Okay, let's... Ah, see, it's coming through now. And only certain ones are lit up. I think that's the ones we need to play. So let's start with the weird smiley face. This one. And then... That should be it. That's all of the light ones. Unless I have to play the dark ones too, but... It doesn't like the lights, but it likes the song. Maybe it is all of them. Let's go back and do it again. Or it doesn't like the light. Maybe I should only play the dark ones. Oh, I should try that. Okay.
That's it. Piano key. A key pulled out from the piano due to the peculiar, peculiar sound it made. Oh. Key seems to weigh a bit more than the others. Just a bit. Oh. A key seems to... The key seems to weigh a bit more than the others. Oh, no, the... That key. Tiny key! They hid a tiny key in there. Too small to open regular door. Where the hell did I just play? These notes. I felt something indescribable. Terrifying. Oh, shit. Did we see anything locked? Like a small box or something? <laughs> Jesus, fuck. Don't scare me like that. I must that. be seeing things. Oh, fuck me. Okay, let's go down. There's no building tension music, so I don't think we're being chased or anything yet. Okay, tiny key. I mean, we saw the the medical emergency little box on the wall, but that said that the lock was broken, right? And we needed to jam it with something, so it can't be that. Otherwise, it would have just said it was a key that locked it. Is there anywhere here? I haven't checked yet. Why is the entrance hall a puzzle in the middle? Huh. There are two gear icons in the film projection room. Maybe one of those is... maybe that door that we saw. I don't think it was locked, but... and it doesn't open a locked door, but I'm just gonna check anyway, because there aren't that many other icons for me to interact with other than that. Oh, it's not really a door, actually. I thought it was a door to another room, but it's a cabinet. Huh. It blows my mind that they had access to sound recording devices. Okay, let's use that. I wonder if this projector still works. We'll soon find out. Whew, okay. Ooh, it's that room. 1920, interview with Ariadne. Oh, I'm the I'm the controlling the doctor. Okay, what are we gonna do? Ariadne's like, what is the doctor doing? Why is she acting so weird? Can I like sit somewhere? I mean, she was sitting in the flashback, right? Oh, so the monster we've been seeing. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. Is there anything I can do? I can Hi, run. Hi, Ariadne. Oh. How are you? Do you feel like talking today? Hmm. You know, I think you're right. But I don't see things like you do. If you don't feel like talking, you can draw. Whatever comes to you first. I should give Ariane a look so she can draw. Turn off the light. It doesn't like the light. The light? Who doesn't like the light, Ariadne? Oh, this is gonna get creepy. Who is that old lady? It's me. We can listen to your box if you want. Sometimes I hear you playing it when I pass by your room. Waiting for her music box. So dark though. Wait, so the music box isn't doing anything to the doctor? No. No, you don't hear them. You don't see it or understand it. What don't I see? Tell me how to understand you, Ariadne. Sleep. Like me. In my bed. 
You want me to sleep with you? Hmm. It, it's it's normal not to want to sleep alone. Sometimes I get scared at night. Not here. At home. Daddy, mommy, and Elaine sleep there. When they understand. Sorry? You mean you want me to sleep at your house? Yes. Sleep there and huh. listen to the song. That's cool. And then you'll talk to me. Oh, who's this gentleman? Is it your daddy? No. It's Mr. Neuer. Neuer? Daniel? Wait, 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 wait. What did she say? Mr. Neuer? Daniel? That would be insane. Is that even possible? That recording is almost 18 years 80 old. years old. Oh, that's awesome. First experiment report. Experiment details of a study conducted by Dr. Berenice Prestigard. Patient Ariadne. The volunteers are divided into two groups, experimental group and control group. Twelve test subjects will be placed in individual padded cells. Six subjects from the control group north will live there for the duration of the experiment but will not experience any other change in their usual routine. The six subjects in the experimental group south, including Ariadne, will be played two cycles of the song from the music box daily, four minutes. This procedure will continue for 21 consecutive days. The patient is expected to verify that the melody has no effect on people and this fact is presumed to help in the treatment of her mental condition, which does not seem to improve at all nor respond to other treatments. Regardless of the results and given the young age of the patient, electroshock is not recommended under any circumstances. No, let's not. That That's not a good idea. Spots of ink on some of the labels, nothing readable. <gasps> a door. Oh, the cells. Are we gonna find the morgue? Can't think of any use. I think. I don't think I can use any of those instruments. They're too worn down. Oh, this is creepy. I wanna peek. Where are we? Oh, we're up there. Big area. These must be the cells. They were keeping the dangerous ones. Unblock the gate from this side either. Wait. Oh, we're on the- ah, I see. Okay. Something in this place makes my hair stand on end. Okay, this is the morgue, isn't it? I think we should just turn around now. I think I need to turn on the lights before it gets too dangerous, before I go any further. I think that's the smart call. Oh god, so many bodies! Shit! Padded cells, I won't be able to hear what happens on the other side. Shit. Daniel, when I met you, you were an invil invalid? In invalid? I don't know how to I think invalid. I thought you would end up like this, like so many other friends, but I'm not going to let that happen. Okay, so all these doors are padded cells. Those bodies, for 80 years, nobody knew they were here. And if they did, nobody did anything about it. Oh my god, this place is so fucking big. That is the morgue, yeah. And that's the lift at the end here. Okay, so these are both places. Okay, let me go a little bit down. But just not go in the lift. See if there's anything here. Okay. Well. The belt that connects the lift's gear is shredded to pieces. Okay. So we need to fix the lift, power the lift, and then we can use it. I do not like this at all. This table in the middle of nowhere could make for a decent hideout. You mean this table? No water in the sink or anything. This is not a table, but I guess she means the closet is a hiding spot. Yeah. 
No water in the sink or anything I can use. Doesn't look like I'll be able to open the gate. Almost relieved. I know, right? That's me exactly. <laughs> What do we got here? Gurney is blocking the access to the northern wing. Can you move it? it shouldn't be too heavy, right? Oh, it's blocked by a ton of shit, though. Ah! Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Uh, go cross, go cross, go, go, go. I need to hide in there. Holy fuck. Scared the crap out of me. Go, go, go. Holy fuck. Jesus Christ, girl. Holy shit. That scared the absolute Jesus out of me. They changed the thing. That's nice. Now you just have to press the buttons when it's in the middle. Oh, that's really nice. It's so much easier. Such an easier identifier when to press the button. Oh, good change. Good change, Dev. I survived. You're good. Okay, let's go back. I think I need to see a psychiatrist. It's okay. We all go through it. Stop running, though. I don't want you running. Don't, don't run. Okay, there you go. Okay, I'm not listening to these padded cells anymore. Did I go full circle? I think I did. Um, yep. Okay, so there's the morgue, but I'm gonna turn the light on first for there. I bet there's something I need to do in there. Um, light is always good, right? Um, I have been recording for two hours, so I wonder if I have enough footage for one episode. I was stuck for a really long time, though, with that puzzle, the picture. So I kind of just hope it's like an hour after editing. Um, but let me just get back to the main entrance, at least. Whew. Stressful, stressful. So I think that's my next plan. Because um, I don't... I have some documents. I don't have any items on me right now, so I definitely need to find something. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna leave it here so I hopefully remember that the morgue is the plan. And see, save and exit before something happens. Okay, that was super intense. It's looking like this is gonna be a good episode. A uh, little bit unfortunate that I couldn't understand the picture puzzle. Um, I really hope that someone in the comments is gonna be like, no, you completely misunderstood. It was like, this was the hint, or you needed to find one more thing and it said like this, this, and this, or something. And then I'll be like, oh, now I feel dumb. But then at least it makes sense, because right now I'm just like, what? How are you supposed to know that? But, um, we got through it. Luckily, I was able to look it up online. So now we're like making progress properly towards the end. I'm super excited to play more. Um, it'll be probably in like a day or two, because I think there's, a, no, maybe one day in between. There's gonna be a couple things um, I need to get to and I don't want to overuse my voice. I'm only gonna record this if I can. Right now my voice feels pretty good. I You notice I haven't really been drinking any tea. Um, it's a little bit tired but I'm not straining it too much so it's it's going pretty well. Um, but yeah I definitely I will definitely pick this up as soon as possible so um, I hope you guys liked it. Thank you so much for watching the whole thing. And we'll pick this up again as soon as possible. Probably like I'll record more tomorrow or the day after if I can. So it'll be it'll be here very soon. Just not probably not straight the day after. Just probably not tomorrow. Thank you so much and I'll see you soon. <laughs>